Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is how to run your Sony Xperia XZ Premium in 4K all the time, not just in media. Because even though I'm definitely not good in making tutorials, I just thought I had to because I saw so many people talking about how amazingly crisp this 4K displays and they didn't even realize it's not true 4K. Because as you can see here, if we launch this app, it shows us that it is downscaling to 1080p 1920. And I definitely did notice that. And it is the same as it happened already on the Z5 Premium last year. So it downscales and compared to here a 1440p display, it is definitely noticeable that text, and this is not visible on the camera so much, is not as sharp. And I would maybe even call it just about sharp as a 1080p AMOLED display. And this is just not what I want from a display that has this resolution. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to run it in native 4K all the time, if it comes with downsides or not. And all the kudos goes to the guys that I will link you to because I saw his tutorial and I just followed that and just wanted to make a video about it because I just can't stand the fact that how many people don't get this fact because yes, it's great. Even though it is maybe, maybe just a very good display, you can just have so much more. And especially with 1080p, the performance is great. And what you would definitely expect is a hit in terms of battery life and performance. But I can tell you, don't worry, because I used it for about a week in 4K, absolutely fine. So how do you install this? Okay, so what you have to do is you have to launch, and let me quickly switch the cam. You have to run a minimal ADB fast boot, as you can see here. So you can just install it. This is pretty much straightforward and it's a really easy process. So what we'll have to do now is plug in the phone and then type in, for example, ADB devices. So we can see that our device turns up. My keyboard is not quite in the perfect placement. As you can see, it did see it. And what you will then usually get is a pop-up that shows you if you allow it for USB debugging, which you of course have to enable in the settings first. The next thing that you have to type in is ADB shell. This is definitely very important. So let's get this done as well. And now you have to type in the command line to switch the resolution. So what we have to do is type in WM size and then the resolution of 2160 by 3840. And before I'm hitting enter, I will get a little bit closer so you can see actually something happening. And as you can see, it did switch in the background and everything is very small now. So the DPI, which is I think by default 420 is just wrong now. What you will have to do now is type in WM density and then type in 820. And once again, I will do this now and you will see something happening and you see things go bigger again. So it could in some cases happen that the launcher won't quite get it right. And in some apps like for example, Google Docs, it just was the case that, for example, things are way too small. If I go into it, you will see text is super small. So you will have kind of to zoom in. But this pretty much was already it. Now it runs in 4K all the time. And of course, you won't see it. But now and this is visible text. And let me quickly change the cam because this was pretty much all we had to do with the PC once connected. Let me get back. And I know it won't be visible not on cam, but in reality it is now. Text is so much clearer, sharper, and then it is noticeably visibly sharper than a 1440p display. And as you can also see, it does not really have any impact in terms of performance. The only thing that I've noticed is sometimes we have a few more occasional frame drops. But as you can see, it's still extremely battery smooth and it did have no impact at all for me, which was surprising in terms of battery life. I still got my four and a half to five hours on mobile data. So I'm super pleased with that. So I would definitely recommend everyone to go for it because the only hit that you will get is maybe, for example, games. And I showed this in my review, like Asphalt Extreme, they weren't all that playable anymore. Most games still work fine, but you get a so much clearer display. And I guess most of you won't even notice usually 1080p to 1440p. But switching from 1080p here with downscale to 4K is definitely noticeable. And I don't get quite why so many reviewers have this device during the review period and don't even notice that this can't possibly be 4K. And the proof is if we go in here, if we go back and now go to the display, now it shows 2160 by 3840, which is native 4K. And this... I know why is not the default setting because as for example, it could come with some issues like I showed in docs and games don't run as fast. But if you don't run games all the time and you can live with a few minor, maybe slight little like almost bugs, 
I would definitely recommend you to go for 4K all the time. And this then is pretty much the best display you can get. This was it. I hope that it was helpful. It was maybe not all that professional, but at least I guess it helped you. So let me know it in the comments and what you think. Maybe a thumbs up and a subscription and maybe watch the review. <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye.